Tendering in his witness statements, the state's prosecution's second witness, Superintendent David Asian, told the court that he had had two separate encounters with the accused, Aisha Huang, in 2016 and 2017. He noted that in 2016, at the time when he was an assistant superintendent of the Ghana Immigration Service, he came across a media publication detailing Aisha Huang's alleged Galamse activities in Namansie West in the Ashanti region. At this point, Aisha Huang told the court that she did not understand the interpretations being rendered by her Chinese interpreter. There was a long pause afterwards, bringing about a bit of drama. Now, in all this, presiding judge, Justice Lydia Osei Mafo, called the assistant of second Chinese interpreter to help with the interpretations for the case to continue. Before this could continue, however, the first interpreter smiled and told the cause that he was expecting this event to unfold because Aisha Huang pulled a similar move in 2020 during a circuit court trial. He noted that Aisha Huang in 2020 told the court that she did not understand the interpretations that he was rendering. And so it came as no surprise to him. Superintendent David Asian told the court that Aisha Huang had been granted an indefinite residency permit, which she had applied using her marriage certificate and Ghana passport. But upon further investigations, they realized that the documents that she had submitted were fake. And as a result, the permit was revoked and she was repatriated on December 19, 2018. The trial continues again tomorrow, Tuesday, November 15, as the cross-examination of the state's prosecution second witness continues. Lord Edouard Sari, TV3 News, Accra High Court.